Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Finger Lakes Racetrack here on Tuesday. It's the 25th of August, 2020. I'm going to look at the seventh race from the Finger Lakes, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and join me this weekend for my Sword Dancer preview from Saratoga, and also next week for my Kentucky Derby preview. But let's get to the seventh race from the Finger Lakes, which is a lounge race, purse $21,000, race for three rolls and upwards to one two races here. We have a field of nine horses going uh, to the main track. The distance of ground here of one mile and 70 yards. One mile, 70 yards here. And I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look at my notes. Just bear with me. So I'm, I'm stupid. I can't do two things at the same time. We're going to take the four horse Destiny's Charge as the top selection. We'll go 4135 in the Superfecta. 4135 Super. Top selection of four horse Destiny's Charge. Three year old gelding here by Frisian Fire. Uh, Robert Davila Jr. gets them out for Chris Englehart. The horse's most recent out. He came 21st of November here at the Finger Lakes. Small 40 and made special weight 25,000. And he won by four and a half lengths there. And he basically didn't break that well. But after that, he had a very easy. Easy, easy trip. He stalked. He got the lead. Quick enough, nicely. Nothing bad about that run. It did take him five starts to break the main, but he was getting better with every single race. Two back, Finger Lakes, mile 40, main special weight 22. Finished second by a neck. Again, he just couldn't get there late. You know, had a good trip. Nothing bad about that run, considering to his race four against so tough competition at Belmont. Mile 16 on the mud off turf in the main special weight 62,000. Finished ninth by 29 lengths. An absolutely horrible start and really could never recover after that. It was just a very subpar race. In the back, sprinting at the Finger Lakes, six furlongs, main special weight 26. He finished third by nine and quarter lengths there. And, uh, you know, a little bit wide. It wasn't going to get the victory. You know, wasn't going to get, you know, anything better than third that day. But it was a good race for experience because he definitely proved out the debut, which was quite crap, actually. But he's training well. You know, has the speed to win at 6-1. Let's take him. So to recap my selection for the seventh from the Finger Lakes, let's take the four horse Destiny's Charge. We'll go 4135 in the Superfecta. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.